Welcome back to 7,544 feet above sea level and the campus of Adams State University. A lot of basketball players have come through the doors here at Adams State University, but there's a good chance that none of them have had the impact of this next young lady. The Adams State women's basketball team is in rebuilding mode. You know, when coach was recruiting me, she was honest with me. She said, you know, we're starting from scratch. So I knew that coming in. I knew this was going to be a building process, but that's something I wanted. You know, I wanted to um, help build a program, help leave some, somewhat of a legacy. And, uh, Sitting towards the bottom of the standings, the Grizzlies have a way to climb, but that hasn't kept them from making big time impactful signings. I think Brooklyn coming in when she did, we had a couple injuries by that point, but they just kept coming. And so every time we had an injured player, you know they're out for a couple months. But Brooklyn is always a great reminder that because she has the best attitude. Brooklyn Crawford is 14 years old from Monte Vista, Colorado. She suffers from cystic fibrosis. She might miss half the week of school to be at the hospital. She's talking about how she can't get, wait to get back to basketball practice. So we can complain and whine and moan about going to practice and being hurt. But just that constant reminder that she's dealing with something so much greater than any of us can even imagine. And she has the best attitude, the most resiliency, works the hardest. It's just the, the best reminder. She's been a real gift in that way. With the help of Boston-based nonprofit Team Impact, ASU put on a special signing day for Brooklyn during the course of the season and she's been with the team ever since. We had a whole table set out. Uh, we set it up, put the basketballs out. All the girls were excited. We, you know, we went to Dollar General, we went to Walmart before, buying decorations, uh, set up her locker with streamers and stuff. Just how we would do any teammate that was signing, anybody coming in. As part of Brooklyn's deal, she'll remain a member of the Grizzlies team the rest of this year and next. Good luck to Brooklyn and the rest of the Lady Grizz. Next up, a man who used to lead the men's basketball team here on campus, and he now leads the entire athletic department, is taking some well-deserved time off. Jace Hamstead catches up with longtime athletic director Larry Mortensen. Not every journey you end up on was your intended path, but for Larry Mortensen, there was nothing wrong with a lifelong career at Adams State. Since 1995, coached basketball for 11 to 12 years, and then one year in 2006 and 7, the AD left and they asked if I would uh, do the athletic director. I just was passionate about Adam State and looked at this as an opportunity to say, and yeah, maybe I can further Adam State and athletic program. For Mortensen, there was always something different about Adams. That's what makes Adam State special. Uh, you know, that, that special touch that you give and, and Adam State's been a, a great place. And when they get that diploma and they walk across students and student athletes, like that graduation ceremony is special, and that, that's a highlight. Mortensen carried a true, genuine connection with Adams State and its student-athletes. And then to, to interact as a coach with, with student-athletes from all walks of life and all races from all over the world, uh, that's been enriching for, uh, enriching for myself. The athletic director position has the added pleasure of working with world-class coaches like Coach Damon of track and field. But I'm, I'm telling you, having someone who's worked with him uh, as a, at first as a coach and then as a, an administrator, uh, it's been it's been a, a rich experience too. As Larry Mortensen prepares to retire as a longtime Grizzly, sometimes it's not always clear what is the right path to take next. It's not what I'm going to do. I think the hardest decision is what I'm not going to do. I want to do something that I can give back to where whatever I'm doing and something that's that's fulfilling as as this has been. But he will never forget the change the university went through that he was lucky enough to be a part of. We used to have two locker rooms, men and women, and now we have each sport has their own locker room, and so and the facilities, new baseball field, and we brought back baseball. And you look at the, across the stadium, uh, the football stadium, and uh, the the bubble, and so we've added a lot of things here. The school and its athletes will certainly miss an all-time great. Now I have 600 student athletes, and it is it's a, it's a blast just talking to these these young kids from all over and getting to know them. It's really been fun, and I will miss that. For the Armac Showcase, I'm Jace Hamstead. We wish Larry the best of luck in his retirement. That brings us to halftime on this edition of the RMAC Showcase. After the break, a team who is slowly climbing its way up the national polls. Don't go anywhere. 